Thanks for joining us for Way 31 News at 10. I'm Nikhil Williams. And I'm Brittany Harry. And for Dan Schaefer tonight, we want to start with Huntsville's City Council, who is talking about changing the way police handle marijuana arrests. Way 31's Nicole Zedek joins us live now from City Hall with details after sitting in on that work session. Nicole. That's right, Brittany and Nikhil. Now, the main goal from tonight's work session was to discuss the benefits of issuing citations for possession of marijuana rather than actually taking someone into jail for just a small misdemeanor. And while this might sound like a pretty big change on 420, nonetheless, it's actually not an entirely new idea. We are not decriminalizing marijuana. We are not changing any laws. We are not doing any of that. This is simply a measure so that we can get these cases before the judges without going through this time-consuming process of booking people. From 2017 to 2021, the Huntsville Police Department made almost 3,000 full custodial arrests for possession of marijuana. If we had the ability uh, to use a complaint and summons, uh, for some of these, uh, you know, misdemeanor offenses, it would create a much more efficient uh, operation for the police department. In an effort spearheaded by council member Devin Keith, the city is looking at changing the arrest procedure so police could issue a summons and complaint or citation for marijuana misdemeanors. The only thing that this measure really is is an alternative method of getting the person in front of us. So for the court, for me, there would be no um, practical difference. Something police already did during the state's safer at home COVID order. During COVID, we were, uh, we were allowed to expand how often we used these citations and complaints um, to include uh, crimes all the way up at two. Uh, possession of marijuana. Many people are happy the city is finally discussing this topic and hope it's a step in the direction of decriminalizing marijuana altogether. I think that by turning it into a simple fine and not a charge that people are going to carry around forever, um, we, we really uh, have, have a good opportunity uh, to get fewer people caught up in the criminal justice system. If the council decides they do want to move forward with changing this policy, they will still need to get support from both local and state legislators. But all of the officials who spoke at tonight's work session say they really only see benefits to changing this policy. Reporting live in Huntsville, Nicole Zedek, Way 31 News. Thanks, Nicole. The city made it clear if this policy does change, the legal status of marijuana remains the same. That means possessing even a small amount would still be a criminal offense in Alabama.